What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to customize this section right here. So on your WordPress website, on your blog row page, you'll typically find a link to the article as the heading. You'll see the featured image and you'll see an excerpt. With that excerpt, you're going to see potentially three periods or some form of text over here. Now, if you want to customize that, you're going to have to customize this section. And there's a couple of ways to do that. And I'll show you that now. So within our text editor, I'm going to go over here. I have the snippet of code right here that we're going to uncomment. I'll save it. And now what this is doing is we're creating a brand new function and then we're returning this text. Just make sure your syntax is properly coded. As you see here, we're using the add filter, excerpt more, and then we're calling in our brand new function. All right. So now that we have that, let's go back to the browser, refresh. And now you see that the three periods, has turned into this text and you can change that text to say whatever you want. Continue reading. And now you see it says continue reading. All right. Now, what if you want to make this look like a button? Well, that can be done as well. All you have to do is inspect the element with your developer tools. We're going to look over here and we see that this anchor link has a class of more tag. So that means we could target this class. This is with CSS. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my text editor. I'm going to uncomment this over here. I'm going to copy it, go back to my website. Now you can do this in your style sheet, but if it's not your theme, meaning if it's developed by another developer, when they update the theme, you might lose your custom code. So the best way to deal with this, we'll X out of this here. We'll go to the customizer. We'll go to additional CSS in this section. This is the safe place for you to add your code. So I'm going to paste in that snippet. And now you see we have a button over here. What we did is we targeted the more class with CSS. We gave it a background color. We gave it a border radius. We targeted the font family. We gave it a color. We gave it a font size. We gave it some padding. And then we even targeted the class when it's hovered over. And you can customize this with your own colors and with your own CSS. You save it, X out of it. Now you see you have that there. Now also, if you're using a theme that's developed by somebody else, you're not going to want to change the code in the theme itself. So let me just comment this again. And you're going to want to take this over here, copy it. And in this case, I'm going to save it, comment it out. Go back to my browser, refresh. It's back to that now. So if you want to customize the way this looks, you would need a plugin for that. That way you won't lose your code when the theme developer updates the theme. So you go to plugins, add new, go here, type out code snippets. We're going to add this plugin over here. We'll install it. We'll activate it. We'll go over here to snippets, go to add new, give it a title. And over here, we will paste in that code snippet. Then you can save changes and activate. Go back to the front of your website. But before we do that, just take a look here. Make sure your code looks correct. Again, it's the same snippet I showed you before. Go to the front of your website. Now we have that there. Now if the theme developer updates the theme, your code will not be lost. All right, so that's how you customize that section. You could either place it in your functions.php file of your theme if you're building your own theme from scratch. You could create a child theme or you could use a plugin like the code snippets plugin to put in that PHP code and you can use the customizer, additional CSS and place your CSS here to stylize this. All right. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to show you how you can customize the read more link at the bottom of the excerpt on your blog row page. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.